Selective enforcement. They won't move the commercial stuff off the beach, but they want me to move into a smaller space. How can I move all of this? I'm in like 12 squares, but they're going to enforce it on me before they remove the illegal commercial jewelry on the boardwalk. That makes no sense. I'm an American citizen. You got people out here who aren't even American citizens, and you'd rather enforce it on me? That's, that's, that's a discussion that you and I have. Oh, well, well, discussion that we will have. It, it's, all, it's all relevant. It is relevant because you are, first of all, I'm an African American. So, first of all, me being in the, the free, the First Amendment zone. Mr. Brown, what say is the I have no idea. January 26th. I have no idea. What's the time? I don't know. You it have is, to. Uh, 557, approximately right. 6 o'clock. Yes. Okay. And right now we're at Oceanfront Walk in Westminster Avenue, correct? Yes. Okay. And what I'm observing here is I see that you have your artwork, which is the original artwork, and you have one square, which is designated for you. And you also have taken over emergency lane with uh, several pieces of art, but basically you've blocked the emergency lane from anywhere. That, that is never you. Okay. But that is have, never we you. That is blocked, correct? Right, but it's okay. never you. That's fine. And your first name, Mr. Brown? Anthony. That's selective enforcement. If you remove everything that is illegal and been deemed illegal by the city, then I will have enough room to where I won't have to block the emergency lane. So why not enforce them first so that the artists who are legally here have space? Do you have a middle name, Mr. Brown? No. What's your address? I'm not telling you my address. I don't have to. I haven't. I haven't done anything wrong. Well, I'm, okay, so I haven't done anything wrong. Okay, so you're gonna refuse your address? I'll tell you. Look, first of all, I haven't done anything wrong, my brother. Okay. Secondly, you're asking me. You're 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 asking me for. Like I said, call the watch commander. They all know me. Call everybody who knows me. Watch commander here for one year. Well, look. Call all of the other officers who have been here. Right. Call all of them. They know me. Do you know what I'm doing right now? This is me. No, do you know what I'm doing right now? No. I'm, I, well, I'll explain to you again. I am recording our contact where I'm warning you for blocking the emergency access. That's all I'm doing. I'm not writing a citation. But the thing is, why? But, but, but look, why would you want to enforce this on me? Look at it. Have you walked up and down here? Yes. My booth look more beautiful than anybody. My, it is the personification of what Venice Beach is supposed to be. I cannot help it that they put emergency fire lanes here that they never use. That's why other officers do not enforce it on me. Okay, well, sir, I can tell you that the other officers will be enforcing it. Why? And I'm, I'm, I'm warning you right why, now. Why, though? Because it's an emergency access lane. Okay, it's, it is an emergency access lane. But don't you think that there are other things they could be enforcing that are that, that are more in the spirit of the, uh, of, of the new ordinance? For emergency access lanes, I disagree. Uh, we are supposed to be here working together to keep the spirit of Venice Yes, sir. Now, what's your birthday? September 9th, 1969. Well, I'm not telling you not to sell your items. I'm just telling you, we just can't block the access lane. That's the only issue. It's never been used. These other jewel, look, you won't, you won't help me and move the guys next to me. The guys next to me sell nothing but commercial stuff. They block, they just barely give me this. They will, those people will be moving. Eventually, time. like, like in a month. So in a month, so for a month, I just barely make enough to make a living because of them. And you're taking away at least 60% of my food. And how am I supposed to make a living off of legal stuff when I don't even have enough room when I'm blocked in by a bunch of people who are selling illegal stuff and you refuse to enforce that? You said sometime in the future, but you're going to enforce this on me. You understand you're only going to have this one square. You're not going to get two squares. You know that? I've talked to all the other officers. They said if it's open next to me, I can use as much space as if, I want. If it's open. Right. Okay. If you take 
all of this commercial stuff off of here, trust me, it will be open. Please don't take pictures of my art. I got a sign right Super, there. Actually, you know what? That's not against the law, sir. I have a sign right there. I have a sign right there. It's not against the law. But I do have a sign right here. I have a sign right here. See what it's like being a black artist on the boardwalk? Here we go again. Yet they will not enforce against all this commercial shit. Yet already, already, they're targeting me. Already targeting me, but they haven't even targeted the commercial stuff. But who do they start with first? I wonder why. Ask yourself. This is why I'm going to Australia on, on March 1st. I've been here for 10 years representing black people in a way that makes them uncomfortable. I'll give you my card though. I make it all right here in front of you. They want me to they want me to take all this and move it to right here and have this little tiny space. While all this commercial shit is able to be sold and they say, "Oh, well we'll enforce it eventually." Tell it. We'll eventually enforce it. But as for me, they're giving me a warning that tomorrow they're going to give me a ticket if my stuff is is set up like this. But as for the commercial stuff, the illegal stuff, they're like, oh, well, you know, eventually we'll do something about it. But they want to do something about me right now. I don't know. Is it the Malcolm? Is it the Marcus? Is it the Zapata that makes them uncomfortable? What is it that makes them uncomfortable? Is it the Langston Hughes? Is it the revolution? Is it Gil Scott here and the revolution will not be televised? Is that what makes them uncomfortable? I don't know. What is it? Because out of this whole boardwalk, they seem to have a bullseye on me. And I've been here 10 years. The only one who represents Mr. consciousness. Brown. Okay, let me get my business card, sir. Okay, Sergeant Dan Gonzalez. Okay. Okay, um, anyhow, just I, I appreciate your cooperation with this. That's not cool. Okay. Remove the commercial stuff so I can have room. I hear you. And then I'll move it. Okay, yes sir. I, they are gonna be, this weekend, the commercial vendors will be all the way up to right next to me with commercial stuff. But if you, but you're gonna try to enforce me being over the line. Yes, sir. Now, how much sense does that make, really? In the spirit of Venice Beach, in the spirit of what this beach is about, how much sense does that make? Aren't you here to enforce the illegal merchandise on the boardwalk? Sir, I, when it comes to emergency access lanes, um, I, there's no they way. never use them. Ask any of your other officers. They know me. Ask them. All right. Ask them. All right. Ask them. All right. I will see you tomorrow. It's not cool. Okay, sir. This is why I'm going to Australia, y'all. This is why I'm going to Australia.